Hi guys, this is Tina, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just here to bring you um, a couple of things that I'm putting in my Etsy, so they'll be on here to coincide with the video going up. So I've got two of my potluck paper packs. So if I just kind of show you what's inside them. So these are a bit different to my usual kits, if you haven't heard me mention these before, um, in that they're just going to contain 10 paper items um, of varying styles so you know they're not a matching um, coordinated kit but they're just you know various styles that you would be able to add into you know variety of journals they're going to just come in this little handmade pouch um, this one's just got a little collage type bit on the side um, just there so the first item in this one is this which is like a corner tuck spot so it's got this lovely lady on here and some flowers and some lace and things. So that's the first one. The second item in this, um, which I will call this paper pack one, is an altered paper bag. So this is a paper bag that I've made and I have obviously collaged up some things on the front with some fabric and what have you. Then there is an envelope pocket. So you've just got a pocket here. There's this image here from a vintage book and some scrapbook paper, a little flower, some lace and a butterfly, some more flowers up the top. Then there is this little flip down, so it's tied with string, if you didn't want the string you could just pull it off, and it just is in this buff coloured card and just folds down, and again you've got some collaged items on here and some vintage flowers and some lace going across the top and some bling. So that's that one, let me just do that up. Just doing it up because if I don't I will just forget. Then there is this one which you know you could either back this onto something slightly thicker and have it as a tag or you could just stick it into a journal and use this as a little tuck spot there. So it's got some pearly trim across the top and some lace. Then there is a button card so this is a little card that I've made with some vintage buttons on it and it's obviously just been stitched on there. Some lace trim at the top and some diamante. Then here there is a little pocket, which I've got a tutorial coming on how to make these pockets. Um, it's got some lace trim and some diamante and um, various things layered up. And obviously you would just glue that into your journal. There is a little cluster here. This is a cluster from my Spring Birds kit. Um, a flower and some lace and things. So that would just be obviously glued onto a tag or onto a page. Then you've got this one here, which again, it's just kind of collaged up items. Um, it's been quite distressed and we've got some lace here and some bling and a little flower. So again, you could probably use this as, you know, a corner tuck or something in a journal. And then the final item in this, which is paper pack one, you've got this laminated floating pocket, which is just stitched around on the sewing machine with some lace trim down, this little word here, and a vintage image of some flowers that have been laminated in there. So that's paper pack one. And then the second paper pack here, it's um, similar, you know, in that I've just handmade this little paper pouch and just collaged up some items there. And then included in this one, you've got the following pieces. So you've got that envelope, which if you saw my patterned paper um, tutorial, this is the envelope that I made on that tutorial. So there's that. There is this here, which is another one of those pockets, which tutorial is coming um, for this one so it just obviously you've got a pocket here and a pocket here and when you obviously then glue it down you'd obviously have a pocket kind of there as well it's got some lace trim and some bling little Martha Stewart butterfly some more lace and a clock there then there's this piece here which is some decoupage napkin and you've got some lace trim and a little label you've got an image here from a vintage book and then you've got some lace trim going across the top and some pearly um, trim there and a bit of bling on the butterfly. Then there's this one which is just a little card which has got some collaged items on there and some lace trim, a little butterfly. This hasn't been distress inked but of course you could do that um, to this, you know, and then you could use that in your journals. Then there's this piece which is a flip down which again there's some string here and then there's some lace here, little stamped image, butterfly, little butterfly there and then this just folds down like that and again obviously the string if you didn't want the string 
you can just obviously peel that off and use it without but I mean I obviously do quite like the string so that's that one just quickly do it up and then you've got an envelope pocket here with just some scrapbook paper and a couple of stamped images layered around here and some lace trim and some bling then here you've got another little what I would use as a corner tuck so I would just stick it down on those two sides there and you've got collaged up pieces there um, again this one's not been distress inked but of course you could distress ink this then you've got a little cluster here with an image from a vintage book here with this bird um, and some lace trim one of my spring birds um, kit images there again I've made a little cluster and I have distress inked this one and then the final item you've just got this which is um, a, you know I would use it probably as a belly band and again I've just layered up some vintage pieces here with some stamps and then one of my um, uh, rose cameos and then another little one there some lace trim across the top and some pearly trim and that would just stick in and then you would obviously be able to slot your pieces in like that so that's paper pack number two that one so the next item is this folio so this folio it is tied together you know bound with just a length of lace which I kind of did like a parcel you know so round one way and then round the other way so it's you know like a sort of picnic basket thing so this is made using my pink patisserie um, kit and you've got a little matching journal as well so the actual folio itself um, it's obviously highly decorated with the black lace and touches of pink as well you've got some diamante here an image from the kit and then the back is plain other than the lace trims sorry about knocking the camera there um, other than the lace trims and then you've got this gorgeous lace ruffle kind of on the side so going inside you've got here a trifold folio so on this one I've just made an altered paper clip which just it's one of the pocket paper clips and inside there there's just a little folding kind of flip there for some journaling and as I say I mean obviously that's the paper clip it's been stitched around on the sewing machine and you've got some lace trim at the bottom lovely image from the pink patisserie kit and some more lace trim there and some diamante and that was holding on this very skinny I mean you can't really call this a journal because it's just got a handful of pages but you know it's really quite sweet and obviously offers more room for journaling and it's just in that skinny kind of um, style there you've got some lace trim and an image from the kit and some more lace there and some bling so that's held on there and then on this side on this flap you've also got a pocket here so again the pocket um, just tucks in here you've got some lace lace here and some bling and then that's holding a little envelope from the pink patisserie kit and inside there I just popped in you know basically just a couple of pieces that I hadn't used yet so just a couple of cards there and then just a little folding piece there so that all just tucks in and obviously goes into the pocket and then opening out you've got obviously you know an abundance of lace everywhere so in this one here um, you've got a little folding um, pocket here with plenty of lace again and it's got three pockets so you know this could be glued into your journals and then you've got and these are just paper um, ephemera pieces so you've got that one there this one here oops and then tucked in here oops, if, if I haven't glued it in tucked in here you've got just a little kind of flip pad made with some of the journaling cards from the pink patisserie kit so I've just stapled them together and then obviously popped some lace across the top so and that just tucks back in there like that so that goes in that pocket then you've got a double pocket going on here so in the first pocket here again this has got a layered up piece from the kit just on some lace there and then I just made a little envelope which again I just took a piece from the kit and layered it with some lace and then inside the envelope you've just got a couple of pieces again from the kit so you've got quite a few kind of pieces that you would be able to actually use you know in your um, journals you know separately 
or you could use them obviously for journaling as part of this particular package really. So that goes in there like that. And then in the pocket behind, I just made a little kind of um, fold out with again, I just fussy cut one of the images from the kit, put some doily on and some lace and just made a little flippy book like that with a few pages. So that just goes in that pocket. Then in this pocket here, I just did a little flippy pad with again, and this is some of my beetroot stained papers along with some coffee dyed papers there. Just, just kind of scraps and randomly um, attached and it's just been stitched on the sewing machine with some lace there. Um, you know, so more room for journaling. So that's the folio itself and then you've got a little match matching journal. So this is just a very small journal. It's um, got some lace trim down here some bling here, an image from the kit layered on some black lace and a flower there. And going inside, you've got that gorgeous collage page from the kit. A pocket here, which again, you've got an image from the kit layered on some lace, a journaling card from the kit, which goes in there. This piece actually folds out as well. So you've got kind of more journaling space there. And then here you've got some lace trim running down the side. You've got here another little pocket, an image from the kit with some eyelash trim, some lace and some lace there. Another journaling card just tucks in like that. Going over, again, I just made an altered paper clip here. So the clip itself, this isn't a pocket or anything. It's just one of the journaling cards, lace top and bottom and a flower. And that's just holding on this little floating pocket, which again, you've just got a piece from the kit there. A lovely piece from the kit layered onto some lace at the front and that's just got a little flippy you know just a, a piece basically so that attaches there with the paper clip then you've got some more of that beetroot stained paper and then here you've got a pocket here with just a fold up with some lace there and you've obviously got some lace here fussy cut item from the kit layered onto some lace there and then here just some lace down the side, some more of that beetroot paper, little piece from the kit, some coffee dyed paper there and then here we are in the centre of the signature. I just want to point out I had actually glued the um, things together, you know this had attached somewhere so you've got a little bit um, of paper there. Um, then I made just a corner tuck here with one of the journaling cards, popped in a journaling card there with some lace trim down the side Made a pocket here and just layered up a um, little frame from my Blossom Blush and then just a flower, a uh, cake from the Pink Patisserie Kit. Some lace trim here and some lace trim running down there. And then here I just made a little folding kind of booklet, which again, you've just got journaling card, oops, um, journaling card there and a journaling card there. They so just tuck in like that. And on the front, I just decorated it with one of the tags from the kit and stuck that on with some lace. So you've got that one. And then this one, you've got just a piece from the kit just stuck onto this black lace, which I thought looked nice. You've got the rest of that coffee dyed paper and some beetroot paper. Here, another pocket. And again, you've just got another little folding piece with, again, a journaling card from the kit popped in there. Um, really like this one, looks really pretty on the front. And then going over, you've got here just a tuck spot at the bottom with a journaling card from the kit that just slots in like that. Here you've got a pocket down here and some lace trim. And again, I just made another little fold out kind of flippy. So you've just got another couple of journaling cards just tucked in there. So lots of lace. And then on the front again, I just layered up one of the journaling cards from the kit with some lace. And then going over the page, you've got more of the beetroot paper, another piece from the kit just onto some lace, a pocket here with an envelope with just one of the journaling cards from the kit just tucked in there. It just goes in like that. And then obviously tucks into the pocket. Going over the page, just some lace trim down here. This just, you know, appreciating the um, nice imagery on the uh, paper there. Then here you've just got a little pocket with a flippy pad 
just made with some of the scraps you know from the beetroot paper the coffee paper and the obviously background pages some lace at the top that's just been stitched on the sewing machines so that just tucks in and then on the back inside page you've just got a pocket here with some lace trim and then here you've just got another pocket which again it's just been stitched on the sewing machine it's got some trim on there it's got a piece from the kit with some lace trim and a little journaling card that tucks in obviously in this side there so that just tucks in there um yeah so that's the whole set so you get everything obviously you know inside the folio and then obviously you get this little journal and you know all the um pieces so as i say that's obviously listed in my etsy along with the potluck paper packs so the link's below if you wanted to check it all out and um yeah hope that you enjoyed the items and i will see you all again soon thanks very much for watching thanks then bye